Hey babes! My name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. If you're new here, welcome. I've been lashing for about five years. I started my lash journey out in Las Vegas in a lash lounge environment. I am now in Memphis, Tennessee lashing in my own little studio. If you guys want to know more about my my last journey I have a video that I just created last week if you're interested you guys can go watch that video but I wanted to share with you guys my lashing setup and what I recommend to have really close to you like at an arm's reach to make your lashing day a lot smoother I feel like that was one of the hiccups in my lashing um, journey when I got my own studio I didn't have a like polished lash setup and it was a little rough. I like would have things that were not in stock and I had to like walk around and it would just make my day go by a little bit more hectic and not as smooth. So if you guys are interested, I hope you guys get some little tips and tricks on what you guys should have really close by to you guys. And if you guys are just starting in your own little lash studio or you guys are renting a room, you guys can get some ideas of what you guys might need that you probably haven't thought about. I moved my cards over so you get a better view of them, but they're both from Michaels. Michaels always has a 50% coupon that you could use and they'll end up costing you about $30 each. This one is six drawers. It's an Ikea dupe from the Alex drawer. This one is just like a regular crafting drawer. They come in different colors. And like I said, very inexpensive. They both have wheels. This one, I didn't add the wheels because I don't need to be moving them around. But they are really, that's a very good um, feature to have if you guys are like moving your carts around. They do come with wheels. If you're just starting off, I would highly suggest you purchasing this one because it actually has the drawers where they're, everything's hidden. This one, everything is more exposed. The reason why I have two lash drawers is because my lashes down here, I don't know if you can see them, they started overflowing and I was kind of tired of having to pull the drawer and pull it all the way out if there was a lash all the way in the back that I needed. So that's the reason why I got this one. I'm only going to be sharing with you guys what I feel like you need today that you guys need in your little lash cart, fully stocked, ready for you guys to have an amazing lashing day and no hiccups throughout your day. Everything I don't mention is just fluff. It's luxury items that I've purchased and treated myself over the years that you definitely don't need right now. So get a little notepad and take notes because I'm going to go buy them really quickly. So first off, you definitely need some scissors. Your opening packaging from Amazon, from your lash items, you wanna make sure you have some scissors to cut open those packagings. You don't wanna mess up your little nails. I have scissors in here as well for my Nichibon tape. This Nichibon tape is pretty thick and I like to cut it right in half so whenever I'm pulling the layers back or anything like that. Um, another thing you definitely need is a Sharpie. This one is a Sharpie pen, it's fine. So when you are doing your lash maps, when you put on the gel pads, the tapes, and you are mapping your client, you wanna make sure you're taking a picture of that and importing it to your notes. If you guys do not have consent forms or a note intake little thingy, I do do mine digitally. I have a video up here if you guys are interested in watching that video. But like I said, you take a picture of the map you created, you import it and you save that map so if your client comes back and they love what you did, you're not like, oh shoot, what did I do? You already have a picture and you just recreate it with a little lash pen, lash pen with a Sharpie pen. Another thing that you definitely need is a adhesive storage container. So you need an airtight container because you don't want any moisture getting to your adhesive. You don't need this one. This one's about $20, so it's, this is a luxury item. What I recommend is something like this. I got it at the 99 cent store. It used to be my adhesive. Now I put adhesive rings in here, so I just added the little ring label here. But this one is see-through, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're putting it like in a drawer so the sun is not penetrating it or anything like that, but you definitely need somewhere cool and dry and dark. So if you guys do wanna purchase this one, it's $20, but you don't need to. You can just use this one. The adhesives always come with silica packs, so just throw them in there so it can absorb even even more moisture and like I said if you have a glass one like this this was a dollar at the 99 cent store if I did not mention that you can put it in your drawer okay another thing that is a highly must is water because we all use adhesive and there's an ingredient in there called cyanar acrylate our adhesive cures with h2o the moisture in the air so 
when you're done with this drop of adhesive, if you're using it on a jade stone, if you're using it here, anywhere, I've seen people use like little glue squares with little dots in there. You want to make sure when you're dropping a new fresh of a new drop of adhesive, your adhesive kind of wants to merge with the new one, like your old one wants to like absorb the new one. So make sure you're curing with a little drop of water. Ooh. You want to make sure you're curing your adhesive before you drop a new drop of adhesive. Don't do it here because those fumes are going to go all up in your face, but it helps reduce the fumes in the air and it's just way better for your health. So lashes, of course, if you're just starting off the curls, I highly suggest you keeping in stock is a C curl, a D curl, and an L curl. That's going to suit a lot of different eye shapes. Make sure you're having 0.15, don't go further than 0.15, and then having all types of lengths. So maybe like six all the way up to like 13. 14 is pushing it, but if you want those super long lashes, definitely have 14s in your um, lash stash. You can also purchase mixed trays. So in the beginning, start off with mixed trays and then you're gonna see like, oh my God, I'm using a lot of 10s, 12s, and 13s. Then you could go in and just buy a box of 13s, a box of 12s, just so you can start off like that. Also, if you're doing lashes, you have to have an adhesive remover. This is just a regular glue remover. I know Sassy Lashes has an amazing one that's like a cream remover. Every single brand that sells adhesive also sells an adhesive remover and you should have that in your stash for sure. Because if you're putting on lashes, you need to make sure you can remove them for your clients. This is a little bit of a luxury item, but it's only $7 on Amazon. So add it to the cart, you know, splurge a little bit. It is a ring light clip on your phone. So what you do is you clip it on whenever you're taking pictures of your client's eyes. That little ring is gonna be around their eye. It also um, disperses the light evenly. So it's not like glam pores where it's like, ooh, you have to be moving it around. And then you could go really close up in there and it's just very beautiful. Like I said, it's only $7. This one I really don't like that much because it's battery operated. The one I had before this, but my husband broke, was um, rechargeable. So look for the rechargeable one because it's so much better. You can just charge it overnight and always have it super bright. As you can see, this is kind of bright, but it's way brighter when I just add new batteries in there. An acrylic storage container like this is definitely a must. You can put your mascara ones in here, your lip applicators, your lash tiles. You don't need to invest in a lash tile container like this. These are so expensive. I'm trying to switch over to a different lash tile setup and each one is $30. In here, they're about like six in each box, but these were like $100 each when I bought them. And other um, companies like Lash Makers, um, Cami also has like really cute lash storage containers that are like up to $100. But I don't want a storage container like this anymore. I want the Maven Lalos and they're $30 each. So I'm slowly investing in those. So like I said, you can have your lash tiles in here. You can also just purchase them from Lowe's. That's how I started off. I had tiles, like actual floor or like, um, what is it, backsplash tiles and have your little lash palettes in there and store them in something like this. You definitely need gel pads, of course. We all know that. You don't have to store these in here. You can save this space for, like I said, your lash tiles. You can also have these because they're already packaged in your Alex drawer dupe. You can just have them in there for now. Another thing you definitely need to invest in is a little lash mirror like this. So when you are doing your lashes, you wanna make sure you're looking under here just in case their eye is exposed. You wanna make sure you're not exposing their eye to the adhesive and the fumes. Um, also, like if you're lashing and you just wanna see how it's going, you definitely need a mirror in your um, little lash stash. The dental mirror is for you, so you can see how your work is going and you need a handheld mirror so you can show your clients your work when you're done when they open their eyes they can see their their lashes these little hooks come in handy and that's another reason why i recommend you purchasing this drawer first because it's like a flat back right here so if you don't have one of these next to you you can add those little hooks here to the side have your mirror um hanging there 
I have a little charger right here. On top of this cart, I like to keep pretty empty because I put my iPad here, my SMA. I'm actually always switching things around here, but what I do suggest you having is a hygrometer just so you can know the temperature and humidity in your room. Don't rely on it, rely on your adhesive. Kind of work with it, see what it's telling you. But you also need a fan. So if you are doing lash baths, priming, cleansing your client's lashes before you start. You don't want to lash on wet lashes, so you need a little fan. This one's my favorite. I got it at LashCon, but they do have one on Amazon that's very similar, and it comes with a little stand. It is rechargeable, so that's amazing. If you're interested in seeing what is in these drawers, I have a video linked up here for you guys. It's called my Lash Cart 2.0. That is where I built this cart, and I go in depth of what is in all these drawers. I highly suggest you purchasing this drawer first to start off because it is flat on the top like I said. You can have your SMA, you can have other cute stuff up here. It's flat on the side where you can put command hooks for other little things and it has these drawers where you can hide stuff. You get me? So if you guys go in the description box right now, I'm going to have a list of everything else that I highly suggest you getting like Barberside of course, Clorox wipes, tweezers, things like that. So a couple of my past videos didn't have a podcast recommendation. I'm not sure why. Today I suggest you guys going and listening to Live Bay Lash if you are not already listening to them. It's by Mike and Shauna Jones. They're formerly known as Sassy Lashes. They also have a YouTube channel, so you guys can go subscribe to them here on YouTube. Their um, podcasts are about 20 or 30 minutes long, so they're kind of short, but they have a lot of podcasts that are super duper informative. They're so down to earth, very funny, and I highly suggest you guys going and listening to them if you haven't already. Guys, go in the description box. Like I said, I have a ton of other items that I highly suggest you purchasing today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with a lash friend. Let's share the lash love. If you enjoyed Enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up so I can know if you didn't give it a thumbs down so I can know subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video and until then bye my loves you can also quickly subscribe clicking my little face here click and you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to watch two other of my videos before you head out I love you bye